heat advisories and heat warnings will extend further than first planned. Many of us look for ways to beat the heat on this hot, hot Sunday. We found folks looking to stay cool at Central Texas parks like this one in the Kendrick area, where a new splash pad recently opened. Lots of older folks, lots of kids and older folks flock to the water and the sprinklers, while smaller children and their parents found slightly less hot breezes on the slides and swings. No matter where you went today, hopefully you found a bit of a breeze today to help with some of that evaporative cooling where the wind crosses your sweat and cools us off just a little bit. If shopping's your thing, we found plenty of people at the Central Texas Marketplace. Many went from store to store quickly to stay out of the heat. And if the shade and breeze didn't provide enough relief, the ice cream truck had some sweet ways to lower your core temperature just a little bit. Now, the thing to watch out for this week, signs and symptoms of heat exhaustion. They may develop suddenly or over time, especially with prolonged, prolonged periods of exercise. Possible heat exhaustion signs include the uh, cool, moist skin with goosebumps, even in the heat, heavy sweating, faintness, dizziness, and fatigue. Other uh, symptoms you might see is weak, rapid pulse, and uh, low blood pressure, especially when you're standing, muscle cramps, nausea, and headache. Now you may notice any of these symptoms. If you do notice them, stop all activity and rest. Move to a cooler place if you can and drink some cool water or maybe some sports drinks. Contact your doctor if the signs or symptoms worsen or if they don't improve within one hour. Uh, you want to, if you show signs of heat exhaustion, seek immediate medical attention. If you become confused or agitated or lose consciousness or you can't drink, you need immediate cooling and urgent medical attention if your core body temperature, measured by a rectal thermometer, reaches 104 degrees Fahrenheit or higher.